Hey, this is Meredith from vidpromom.com and recently GoPro's Nick Woodman took to the stage at their live launch event to reveal what myself and almost all GoPro enthusiasts have been waiting for for a very long time now. The Hero 5, GoPro's newest flagship camera, along with the Hero 5 session and this crazy little thing called Karma, the drone that's really more than a drone. Although we've been dissecting and disseminating some leaked photos of the Hero 5 for the last couple of weeks, GoPro has done an extraordinary job of keeping the karma and all of its lovely details under wraps. In just about 35 minutes, Woodman revealed a ton of details about both new cameras and the karma and a bunch of other stuff that we weren't really expecting. So what does it all mean to you? What's the difference between the Hero 5 and the Hero 4? And does the Karma live up to all of its hype about being a drone that's really more than a drone? Let's check it out. Okay, first of all, the Hero 5. The body itself not only looks different, it is different. It's actually waterproof without a case, up to 10 meters. It also has image stabilization and voice control, two features that we knew GoPro needed in order to stay competitive among other action cameras. Voice control works with seven languages, English, Italian, Spanish, French, Japanese, German, and Chinese. And finally, the new GoPro comes with a frame mount, something that used to cost extra with previous models. You can pick up the Hero 5 for $400 and it will be available on October 2nd. Another cool feature of the Hero 5 is that it has three microphones for improved sound quality and a two inch touchscreen display with a redesigned interface that allows you to adjust exposure and settings as you view your subject. The Hero 5 Black also comes with a GPS, but it's unclear how you're gonna be able to use that information in your footage. Hopefully GoPro has something up its sleeve or we'll learn more as real users get their hands on the Hero 5 Black. And speaking of getting real users' hands on the Hero 5 Black, as a member of GoPro's family team of influencers, I'm told that there's a GoPro Hero 5 on its way to me. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you can see any unboxing or review videos that I post. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat for stories in real time. So how does the Hero 5 Black compare to the Hero 4 Black? Well, the Hero 5 shoots the same as a Hero 4 Black, up to 4K resolution at 30 frames per second, and still images up to 12 megapixels. And a few things that GoPro didn't show us in their announcement were that there's actually three quick keys available. One that's compatible with your Apple devices, and then there's one with a USB Type-C connector, and then one with a micro USB connector. The Hero 5 also uses a new battery, so you won't be able to use it with your Hero 4 battery. Batteries. And if you want more protection or plan to dive with your Hero 5 Black, you'll need to purchase this Super Suit for an additional $50. There's also three dive filters available for the Super Suit as well. And since the Hero 5 Black is waterproof without the case, it also has a replaceable lens protector made from Corning Gorilla Glass. If you scratch or break your protector, you can get a spare one for 20 bucks. Then there's this thing called the Remo, which is a waterproof voice activated remote. For $80, you can buy this one button wearable remote that allows you to press record from up to 10 meters away from your Hero 5 or your Hero 5 session. Speaking of the session, the new session looks a lot like the original, but it does have a few improvements like image stabilization and voice control. It also shoots up to 4K now and photos up to 10 megapixels. And just like the original, the Hero 5 session is waterproof without a case and it's going to run you about $300 and that will also be available on October 2nd. Both the Hero 5 Black and the Hero 5 Session allow for the ability to upload footage via GoPro Plus, which is GoPro's new cloud service. GoPro Plus allows for automatic upload of your footage to the cloud where you can have access to it from all of your devices and create awesome videos on the go. GoPro Plus will be available on September 29th. You might be familiar with GoPro's Quick mobile app. I did a little review of that a few months ago. It's a mobile app that actually edits your footage automatically right from your phone. It's pretty neat. And now GoPro is bringing it to the desktop. And then there's the Karma. The Karma is, as Woodman put it, so much more than a drone. It's actually a kit that includes a drone with foldable arms, a removable gimbal, a hand grip, and a flight controller. It all fits into one durable backpack and it will cost $800 
dollars, or you can bundle it with a Hero Five session for a thousand dollars, or a Hero Five Black for 1100 saving you 100 bucks either way. GoPro promises that the Karma drone is extremely easy and safe to fly for first time drone users. I always hear that drones are difficult to learn, so if GoPro has made it easy for first time learners, then that's awesome. Sign me up. One of the coolest things about Karma is the removable gimbal. You can take the stabilizer off the drone and attach it to the included handle, making it a handheld gimbal or a mountable gimbal. That's pretty neat if you ask me, and you can purchase just the gimbal and the Karma Grip for $300. And while the two new cameras will be available on October 2nd, the Karma won't be available until October 23rd. There's a ton more information available about the Karma, but GoPro explains it best in their videos, which you can find links to below. So honestly, I wasn't exactly expecting to be blown away by GoPro's announcements, but I kind of was. In fact, the most exciting thing was the pricing. For probably the first time ever, GoPro cannot be accused of overpricing their products. So that's it, that's all I've got. If you have any questions at all, leave a comment below, I'll try to answer them. And if you like, then join my GoPro Enthusiast Facebook group by going to goproenthusiast.com.